This is about the rule changes or the laws that have changed in the game of cricket. We have things like Mankad being legal. <laughs> Hello, Namaste, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Crypto for Us. And uh, this is an impromptu video. No plan for this. And uh, as I saw on Twitter this morning, something that surprised the bejesus out of me. So I thought, uh, why not? Let's just uh, look at my initial reaction of what's happened because I read it and I thought to myself, oh man, I'm not super stoked about this. But then I did a bit more digging and just wanted to share my thoughts and just tell everyone who is uh, watching what is going to happen and what has happened to be honest so let's get into it let's start off by giving you a prelude of what this video is this is about the rule changes or the laws that have changed in the game of cricket we have things like mankad being legal now we have things like the the we have things like crossing which do not exist anymore if you're caught out it's it's the same as what happened in the 100 but they're just pushing it into the wider scope now uh, all of these rules come into play from the 1st of October 2022. Uh, if there's a wide ball, it's uh, it's dependent on where the batsman is rather than, um, you know, the wide lines, which, again, which kind of makes sense, which I'm personally okay with. Then we've got the dead ball rule that before it was uh, the fact that if the ball has pitched outside of the pitch, it it is considered a no ball, but now it's considered a dead ball unless the batsman has to go off the pitch then it's considered a no ball again i have to look into this but this is just my initial thought and lastly just the unfair side of things so you know if any side is disadvantaged uh, of uh, in any sort of way it's a dead ball if a fielder is ha has moved to an unfair position if you know what i mean like you know if there's four people in the circle allowed or four fielders in the circle allowed and one of them is outside the circle or goes outside the circle, you know, things like that. Rather than call, being called a dead ball or, or a no ball, now it will be five penalty points to the batting side, which is which is really interesting. And uh, yeah, so things like that. I'm going to go through the rules very quickly on the Lord's website. And it's opened up uh, for me already here. So I'm going to just look through this. So the laws of cricket haven't changed, been changed in five years, and now they will be changed. So great job right replacement players that's something i didn't uh, i didn't mention earlier so now if a player replaces another player it's not a substitute let me clarify it's not a substitute but if it is a player who has replaced another player it that player will be treated the same as that particular player if that makes sense let's say there's a concussion sub or whatever right yuzvinder chahal and ravi jadeja that example but now when yuzvinder chahal goes out basically ravi jadeja will replace He's been the Chehel in the score line and everything like that, right? So that's that. That's what that, at least that's what I understand. And everyone in the comments, please do let me know your thoughts about the law changes or if I have misunderstood anything, please clarify that in the comments below as well. Uh, Bat is returning when caught. Yeah, exactly. There's no crossing. There's no crossing unless it's the end of the over, which is what it always is because you swap places. So it's not exactly like a, like the 100, but it's it's half of what the 100 was doing. Dead ball rule, yeah, any sort of uh, disadvantage to any side that would be construed a dead ball. Uh, bowler throwing towards the strikers. And so I didn't know, uh, yeah, as they say, it's a very rare scenario, but uh, I've never seen that. Our bowlers running in and they just throw the ball at the batsman, right? Or try and get them run out. Now it will be considered a dead ball before it used to be considered a no ball. So something for the bowlers, I guess, something. And Mankad, obviously Mankad is a thing that uh, we have uh, seen a lot. Well, not really, not seen that much, but we have seen it be a point of discussion. But thankfully in this, uh, once we go down, uh, when, once I scroll down, we'll talk, uh, we'll talk a bit about that as well. But yeah, judging a wide, yep, I agree that it should have been moved a long time ago. And finally, because of the fact that batsmen or batters are moving across the crease quite a lot. Um, when the bowler bowls, even if it's slightly wide, the wide will be on the basis of where the batter is rather than where the lines are, which is something I know a lot of the umpires do already, but now it's official. That's what they need to do. So that's good. Um, strikers right to play the ball. Yeah, this is when the ball comes off, off the pitch. So if the ball should land away from the pitch, 
allows the striker to play the ball so long as some part of their bat or person remains within the pitch. I've seen it happen like once or twice um, and uh, it was just considered no ball or dead ball. So yeah, this is interesting. I think it's it's a, a rule that doesn't come into play very often, but as long as it's highlighted, maybe moving forward, that is the right way to go about it. But uh, yeah, a lot of these rules I wasn't too happy about uh, personally. Unfair movement, yeah, we've already mentioned that. Unfair movement by the fielding side rather than a dead ball. Now it is going to be considered five penalty runs as well. Yeah, yeah. So great job. Great job, MCC and ICC and all that. All the CCs in the world. Moving the running out of the non-striker. Yeah, so basically Munkert is not unfair play now. It is considered a run out. And the no saliva rule. There we go. That's what I wanted to talk about. No saliva rule. So before COVID, uh, before the pandemic, saliva was used to shine the ball. But now you can't use saliva because of the safety protocols. But now it is a rule that if you use saliva, it is not ideal. If you use saliva from the 1st of October 2022, it is illegal in the game of cricket. So now, the, what, what are they going to do, right? They're going to have to, if, if they're sweating, they can use their sweat like they are, I think, at the moment. They can't use the saliva. So reverse swing might be an art that dies sooner than we thought. Um, but I know that I've seen reverse swing happen, to be honest, with the, uh, the uh, COVID protocols and stuff. But it's just, with saliva, I think you can just get a lot more uh, shine and a lot quicker uh, shine uh, on the ball. And the other side gets rocked up quite quickly. But again, th those are my, my thoughts, at least. Um, but yeah, the new laws will not permit the use of saliva, which also removes any gray areas of fielders eating sugary sweets to alter their saliva to apply to the ball, etc., etc. Okay. It is important that we announce these changes now as part of the club's global commitment to the game. So, there we have it. I can't believe the rules are actually changing. It's been five years since any of these changes were made. Uh, there are more rules. Do not click on this read more right now because it takes you to the 2017 laws because I clicked on it and the 2017 laws open up and I was like, oh, what's this? But yeah, it'll, they'll probably update that. But thank you everyone who's, for watching. Please tell me your thoughts. The rule I'm happy about is the Mankad rule and the wide rule. The rule I'm not happy about is the crossing. I'm not happy about the saliva. Uh, the replacement, I'm, I'm not too bothered about. It makes sense. It, it, logically, that makes sense. But yeah, I'm a bit conflicted about these... Uh, new laws of cricket and maybe i made it a big deal maybe i'm overthinking it but i just saw it and i was like ah i don't know why i did that but that's how i felt but yeah thank you everyone for watching please like share and subscribe if you do like the content please tell me your thoughts in the comments below about these new laws because i really want to have this discussion and uh, i haven't seen many videos i've seen like two videos on youtube about this so far and i couldn't find many so please let me know your thoughts would love to hear them thank you so much until next time take care <laughs> Hey! <laughs>